Hello everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about where people think their club needs to go versus where it actually is supposed to go. And this comes a lot from a lot of people's uh, desire to improve. They start to read a little too much, they start to watch a little too much, and probably worse off, they listen to their friends or their spouse on what they their spouse thinks they're doing in their swing and what they might have read that could be construed the wrong way. And probably one of the biggest ones that I see in all the schools that we do is that people think that the club head needs to move on a straight line as it goes away in, uh, from the ball in the takeaway. And if you ever noticed, if you haven't already, that the, the golf swing works in a ro rotation motion and that if you were to put the club against you slightly and hold grip down to the steel and the shaft and you were to turn, make your backswing, you'll notice that the club would actually move away from a straight line and it would work in an arc. So if you could kind of come from behind, I, I give you a better illustration of what I'm talking about. In most of the schools that we teach, people will come in and they'll have a very hard time uh, trying to figure out why they can't hit the ball somewhat solid. And when I ask them what they're trying to do or what their thought process is in their swing, they almost always say that they're trying to take the club head straight back. But you'll notice as, as I do that, my arms start to get disconnected from my body. And for most people, they will start to cut off rotation as they hinge. There's not enough depth in their swing, meaning their hands aren't deep enough behind them. They cut their rotation off and then they have get very steep on the ball and they hit these low pulls or they hit line drives. They, they, long story short, they don't hit it very good. So what I have here is I have the orange stick to illustrate the target line. This orange stick to illustrate I'm parallel since I have a, a six iron, a mid-level golf club. And then the yellow sticks illustrate as close as we could uh, the hand path and the backswing and the forward swing. So as you would set up to a ball and you make your backswing, as your club follows your turn, you'll notice that the hand path actually comes around you and so does the club as it follows very close to that yellow line in your swing so that when you get to the top, you have enough depth that your, your hands are somewhere over your right shoulder. Okay, and then as you start down, your hands will track on that yellow line as will the club. As you unwind, they'll now track to the left and you're finished. Alright, so trying to swing straight back and straight through is actually a detriment to your swing because as you rotate and your arms stay in front of your body, they rotate with your body and they do swing in an arc. So if you're out there and you're trying to take the club head straight back and straight through and having a hard time hitting the ball solid, set up a little station like this, allow your hands and arms to come around you on the backswing, come back to square at the ball and then around you to the to the left on the forward swing, I think you're gonna find that you hit the ball a hell of a lot better and you have a heck of a lot more fun in the process. Hey everybody, Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you wanna watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.